Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chloe. Um, so I'm halfway through filming this video and I realized I accidentally deleted the original intro I had filmed. So basically, you can tell by the title, but I am starting drafting my second novel. So follow along for that. So like I mentioned, I've realized I'm a better writer when I plot because otherwise there's just so many plot holes and things. So I'm going to show you guys how I set up my outline. So this part of the screen is probably blurred because it actually has like information um, about my like manuscript novel, whatever that I just finished. But over here is kind of the outline of everything I wrote. So um, here, just characters. I have it divided by main characters, side characters, and minor characters. And then if you scroll through, I don't know if you guys can see like the changing colors, but all the little blue bits are, these are the minor characters right now. And then less of the side characters, even though it looks longer, it's just because the main characters are the main couple and they have a pretty long bio than the side characters. Um, it's like my main character's family. And I'm kind of planning for like a Bridgerton-esque, like every sibling gets their own like happy ending. So that's why I kind of like fleshed out their characters. And then once you get to like minor characters, it's like ages and then the one time they showed up. But, and then I have a few different things for plot line. So you'll see over here, it's, life events timeline um you probably can't see it's probably cut off right here but it says life events timeline pre and post book events that's a timeline i'm going to carry on throughout like the entirety of like the series um just so i can keep like everything in order book events timeline so that's the actual things that occur in the book that i write <laughs> so life events i'm gonna try to cut something here um i don't know if i gave you like the option to see now that's what i'm gonna try to do i'm trying to get better at editing so um if i couldn't figure it out basically like this is like 1768 1772 like this is the year like the dad of the family is born this is the year that the mom of the family is born um and it just goes down like that like birth years and then all the way down here is when book one starts and it's literally just like birthdays so i can remember ages i don't know why that's so important to me but i love a good list so i have that and then this is the actual things that happen in the book so i'm probably gonna like cover most of it um i'm gonna try to help myself out here a bit for editing but up here, the book starts November 20th. It actually technically starts, um, like the main characters meet, I think in January, but in November, something happens that starts like the book events. So then that's that. And then um, I need to unhighlight these, but basically as I was going and writing, I was unhighlighting things to show that they had already happened. And then you get into rough draft plotting. So I think you guys probably remember when I was like drafting, there was like whatever point of view it was in, it was highlighted that color. And then as I wrote that plot point happening, I unhighlighted it. So the main female, she was yellow and my main guy he was green so you can see that it's all written and then i have like a red right there um that's something i took out and i don't know why but it felt important for me to remember the original plot of the book that i'd written and then just show what i didn't put in i don't know why i kept it like that there was quite a few places that i have that <laughs> I don't know why um but i love like having originals like this original draft i have i'm gonna make a copy of it before i start editing so i can have the original i just think that's like fun to look back on so i have chapter 1 through 14 written i think it ended up being 17 so obviously like things changed there is also an epilogue that i did not write 
um, and then just like misc notes at the bottom like those are all able to be ignored but yeah so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna take this outline of like the characters um then the plot line and i'm gonna kind of paste them over into this document just so i can get started and then spoiler alert um <laughs> it's about a pirate now i just called it pirate story because i don't have any like names for it um which is why it just says like pirate whip pirate whip pirate whip i'm probably gonna try to blur this part out because i don't want people to see like what it's about but um anyways so on my old computer this is actually the book i had started writing when i realized i didn't have like the skills to write because this is like a pirate fantasy and y'all know like fantasy novels are intense and there's a lot of world building and I want like a magic system in mind. So I just like wanted to practice writing. So I don't exactly think I have the skills yet for it, but I really want to get writing it. So I'm just going to go for it. But anyways, um, I imported all of these from my last computer and I haven't touched them since I decided I did not have the skill set for it. But here I started, it's only the main female, I know. I tried to make all the profiles and then I got bored. Um, but this is just a little bit about my main character. I did start outlining um, a long, long time ago. And um, so I think that's up to like the first three chapters outlined. Um, this is the document I just made. And then this is the first chapter that I did actually write out. So. We'll see what that looks like. All right, so now I have the basic setup, and then here on this side of the screen is going to be um, my mini outline that I started writing, and I'm just going to go through it, read it and i'm going to put it over here and just that's how i start i guess this might be a short video um it's pretty late at night right now so the next time i touch this it'll probably be daytime um but yeah i'll update you guys when there's something to update about I'm working on my character profiles right now and I'm kind of trying to compile all of the ideas I had when I was first writing this into one. And first of all, I had a note on my computer a while ago that had a bunch of character names and it's gone. So a lot of the characters I had created kind of don't exist anymore. I do have a Pinterest board where I put pictures of people that like I kind of like imagine them looking like. Um, half of the names on those have disappeared somehow, so I guess I'm going to be making up new names for people. Also along with that, there's some people whose names are there that I remember creating. I don't really remember their role. And the worst part is, I started writing this on my old computer. And I thought I imported all of the documents that I needed, but I, there's a lot of stuff I know I wrote down that I cannot find, and that drives me crazy. <laughs> I've also had the awful realization that my main character in the novel I just finished basically has the same personality that I wanted the main character of this one to have. And which that makes sense because like this was my original idea and then I was like, you know what, let me write something more lighthearted and fun um, and then so I can practice my writing and then like move on to this one. But I completely forgot that I gave the personality of this character to the other character. And honestly, after fleshing out my character from my other novel, I don't think that personality would have really fit with 
the story I'm trying to write, which so it's good because I can create a new person, but I do have a lot of character stuff written for her. That's basically my other character. So I forgot how long planning takes, oh my gosh. When I was planning the novel I just finished, it took me three months. But you know what, that's not even that bad, but I was really into it. I would be sitting in the basement of the library on campus, like in one of the corners, grinding all like for hours writing this. It still took me three months to like plot everything. Is that a long time? Do other people think three months is a long time? Because I do. So right now I am home for Thanksgiving break and my first novel is still shelved. I really decided I don't want to look at it until December 1st because I kind of want to give myself a chance to like forget about it before editing it, which is kind of hard because it was one of the things that was like most on my mind for like the past two years. Um, so I'm not sure if a month is long enough for, to forget about it, but whatever that's the timeline I decided um but I started obviously you can see by this video I started drafting my second novel and it's not related to the first at all it's a different idea that I had um and what's funny is I already had like like the beginning of it plotted out so I'm kind of like editing that plotting as I go and I can't tell if that's making it harder for me like it's making things harder because where with my first one I had like a blank slate and I just kept writing and writing and writing this one I actually kind of have a direction and things I want to include so I'm like building things around the main points I have and it's crazy <laughs> because near the end of that first novel I was so excited because I was like oh once I'm done with this I can move on to the next one but now that I'm at the next one, I feel like I'm going exponentially slower than I was with my first one. So I've had this doc created for like two weeks and I've only written out the plot for chapter one. So, <laughs> but yeah, this is me just getting started. Um, the cool thing though is now that I'm starting a new novel, you guys get to see from the beginning to the end. So I will post more vlogs and keep you updated. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.